Well, probably every kid in Australia has grown some silkworms. As we all know, they eat mulberry leaves and they come from China. They were a national secret for many, many centuries. In fact, if anyone was guilty of letting out eggs or any of the secret of the whole thing, they would be killed here in China for a long time. These days, China is not the only country in the world that has silkworms. This is how it's done. They have these woven shallow baskets. They just spread the leaves over them. And these are just mobile stomachs, these creatures. The actual caterpillar, if you like, and the moth is now extinct in the wild, or at least thought to be, no record of it. They only survive in captivity. They grow in something like about 28 days to their full size, weave the cocoon, and tragically then it's into a vat of boiling water for most of them. If you've ever wondered how you get silk thread from these little cocoons, well, it's, it's, it's complex, but firstly, here in China, they're all the white cocoons, not the yellow ones like we often see in Australia. And they have eight of the little cocoons floating in one area, and they just tease out a little bit of thread from each one, and then it runs up eight together, and it winds onto this reel up the top. These ladies usually have two bays each, and it's a bit like keeping those plates going, spinning on top of the sticks. So they've got 80 cocoons in each by two bays. It's a complex job for somebody, eight hours a day.